I don't think I even told you what I was going to do. I just grabbed my phone and dressed up and got out of the house. Today's plan is to go to the bookstore. There are a couple of books that I have my eyes on. Now, I shouldn't have my eyes on any books other than my giant TBR, my giant physical TBR, but I do. It's a problem. I'm addicted. I can't help. Send help. Let's go. Also, in the words of the Jack Edwards, buying books or reading books are two different hobbies. So, yeah. A very quick change of coat. Let's go. So leave me stranded on the carpet, head on to the faucet. You're my alibi. Did I just go to the bookstore for two books? Yes, I did. Did I end up getting six? Oh, yes, I did. Do we know the reason for this? Oh, yes, simple. Because I'm a bookaholic. Not a recovering bookaholic. Just a bookaholic. Period. Yeah. Let's get into the fun part. The first book that I got is this one. This is My Policeman by Bethan Roberts. And right now, this is adapted into a movie. Tragic love story. So this woman falls in love with her brother's best friend. After a while, they get married. But that's where the tragedy is because was she the right person for him? Does he actually love her? Was she the person that he wanted to be with? I think the book is dual perspective, the man's perspective and the woman's perspective. And a side note, this is a queer love story. Second book that I got is this one. This is Love and Luck. This is the sequel to the book Love and Gelato. And you've seen me talk about it before by Jenna Evans Welsh. I know nothing about this one and I do not want to know anything about it. By the way, there is a third book, which was also available at the Roman bookstore. I thought I will get this first and then I will come back for that one some other time and use it as an excuse to get another bunch of books. Next, I got this one, Ariadne. The reason I got this, let me just point it out, is Teresa Irwan on Instagram. She raved about this book. She loves this book. This is Greek mythology. I don't know anything else about it. And I want to keep it that way. I want to go into this blindly because based on her reviews, I was like, that sounds really interesting so i picked it up not knowing anything but also i've heard her mother reader on instagram uh, rave about it and also jack edwards on instagram so i think i was going to get this book eventually anyway next up i got this so these two were the initial books that i actually went for and then I saw that they have this one and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get three. I ended up getting the other three as well. Abel is a fantasy book, historical fiction, and that's all I know about it. And I know you might be thinking, Lana, why are you buying books that you know nothing about? It's just for some books I get so curious based on some reviews. I rather keep it completely unknown and not know anything about it and just dive into it blindly. You know, I think I'm being very unhelpful in this little book haul, but I will give you my reviews and my blurb and about these books once I give you reviews. What, 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 what? That didn't make any sense even. Listen, I'm going to give you more details about these books once I review them on my account. But right now, I would like to keep it uh, anonymous for the sake of myself. That's how I will enjoy them more. Next up, now this is a book that I actually researched quite a lot. Listen, I was just looking through the books and this was just literally tucked into the corner and I was like, wait a minute. I read, you know, look at the spine first of all. It's so beautiful. I read the title, The Devil in the White City. I was like, hmm, interesting title. And then right under underneath it says, murder, magic, and madness at the fair that changed America. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't very interested in the America part, but when it said murder, magic, and madness, I was like... What is this? Why is there only one left? Obviously, if there is only one left of a book, it doesn't mean that it's good, but you know, my brain was trying to find reasons to buy this, basically. And then I... This is hardcover. 
I love hardcover books. I opened the inside. Look at that beauty. This book is so beautiful. Opened it even further. There was this other map inside. I was like, okay, I need to know more about this book. Even at the back, it's the same map. My point is the book is beautiful. And then I started to search for it on Goodreads, literally in the bookstore and listened to YouTube uh, videos literally in the bookstore and listen this is a historical nonfiction book basically I'm not sure if there is any fiction in it to be honest but I know it is a historical nonfiction now listen I love historical books so much based on what I searched for on Google I knew that this is talking about a very big event a Chicago fair um, that kind of changed uh that time period for them that event is correlated by this author to the first modern american serial killer who allegedly killed 200 people in his house and his house is literally a big castle and it went down as the murder castle in history And then there is another character in the book as well that I didn't read more about because I was so focused on the serial killer because I'm usually very much interested in that type of documentaries, stories and stuff. When I knew that this book was history and I could literally search up the names that are in this book and the events and the places that are in this book and look at them in black and white pictures on Google, I was like sold. And then when it talked about the real serial killer that i can again look up on youtube i was like sold i'm not gonna lie the reviews were not very good for this book so i took a risk getting this because everything in it said lana you're gonna enjoy this but most of the reviews were like no this just lacked something so i took the risk i got it and honestly even after all of those reviews i am just so excited to read this the last book that i got firekeeper's daughter by angeline uh, Do dolly boley <laughs> that's a b okay let's try this again angeline boley or bolly i think it's boley it's her debut novel this is her first novel first thing that you will notice about this book is that the cover is absolutely stunning um this is supposed to be a ya and it's a mystery thriller this girl is taking care of her sick mother when she becomes a witness to a murder she becomes part of the investigation she goes undercover that's all i know about this book but i read a lot of great reviews and what i read about it like that synopsis sounded interesting to me plus the cover is so beautiful <laughs> a tragic love story this is a sequel greek mythology it's historical uh, fantasy historical nonfiction, mystery thriller i think i got a very diverse bunch of books and I'm just so excited. Like if I had three brains, you better believe they would all be lying around just reading books because I just love it so much. That is it for my little bookstore come along and book haul. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Take care. Bye.